The Bible reads, My brethren, count it all joy when you fall into diverse temptations, knowing this, that the trying of your faith worketh patience. But let patience have her perfect work, that ye may be perfect and entire, wanting nothing. If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God, that giveth to all men liberally, and upbraideth not, and it shall be given him. So very, I love, I love James 1, 5, because it's just saying, hey, do you lack wisdom? Do you need some understanding? Do you, you want to be smarter? Do you want to have more knowledge? Ask God. Ask God because God gives to all men liberally. So he's not, it's not, you know, liberally would be the opposite of sparingly. So he's not saying, well, he'll just give you a little nugget, a little bit of wisdom. He's saying, no, God loves to give wisdom. God will give you more wisdom even than you're asking for. He'll give to you liberally and upbraideth not. He says, it shall be given him. That's a promise. That's awesome. And that's, that's great to know that if you truly go to God in your heart, that he will give you wisdom. And we could completely trust in that. Look at verse number six. It says, but let him ask in faith, nothing wavering. So we can go to God with assurance and we ask him for wisdom that he will give it to us. And we don't need to be wavering in our faith. Just ask him. He'll give it to you because it's written here. It says, for he that wavereth is like a wave of the sea driven with the wind and tossed for let not that man think that he shall receive anything of the Lord. A double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. So when you go to God and you're asking him for something, be sure, be confident, be full of faith, knowing that God will give it to you, and he will. Um, but the person who's just kind of like, I don't know, will God give me wisdom, and just, just doesn't really have the faith at all, then you can't expect to get it from God. I mean, it's, it's laying it out for you right here. It's literally what the, what the Bible's saying is, you know, don't waver in your faith when you ask God. You can go confidently unto the Lord, and He'll give it to you. But when you're kind of unsure and doubting of God, then He's saying, nope, let not that man think that He'll, re he'll receive anything of the Lord. You know, don't, don't be doubtful of God, of what he can do or what he will do. Just trust him. And if you trust him and you have that faith, he will open up your understanding. He'll give you the wisdom that you're seeking. The Bible says a double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. And I could go off an entire sermon on that one verse right there about being double-minded. Being double-minded means you're kind of wishy-washy on things. You're going... Yeah, I could do, oh, wait, no. And you're just kind of flip-flopping, going back and forth. There's no stability there, right? One of the things about making wise decisions is you need to be able to make a decision and stick with it. Don't be so doubtful even of the decisions that you make. Just make the decision, go with it, stick with it, and don't just be constantly flip-flopping back and forth. You need to be able to remain constant. And this is an important attribute of being able to make wise decisions. Now, it doesn't mean that you can't ever change your mind about something, but this shouldn't characterize who you are, is that you're just always changing your mind all the time, right? Because if you're changing your mind all the time, then you're either making decisions too quickly without even understanding the whole matter, right? And, and speaketh without hearing, just kind of making real hasty judgments, or if there's just no knowledge going into your decision making, which is why then you're always going back and forth. Either way, it's not, it's not a good sound way to make decisions, right? If you're just too hasty or if you just don't even have any knowledge, you know, yes, we have to be ready to, you know, admit that we're wrong about something and make a correction, but that shouldn't be the, you know, what you're known for as, as just, um, you know, just being that unstable in all of your ways. You need to be able to make a decision, stick with it. And if you can't stick with a decision, then you're not going to be able to take action on it. Because the first step is, is deciding, what do I do? And then, then you have to actually do it, right? And if you're unstable, well, you're going to be too hesitant to even want to go forward with any decision that you make because you go, oh, I don't know, maybe it's this way. And especially if you're leading people, like, man, if you're leading the home, no one's going to want to follow you 
if you're trying to make a decision and you're wishy-washy and say, well, I don't know, maybe we should do that. Well, I don't know, maybe we should do this. And you just kind of like, you start making two steps this way and then you go back, you're like, no, let's go that way. Look, it just causes confusion. No one's going to want to follow you. Make a decision, stick with it, but make it based on wisdom. 